Uh, here we have a uh, definite integral. It's the definite integral from 0 to pi over 4 of 1 plus e raised to the tangent of theta times uh, secant squared of theta d theta. So we need to use some u substitution here. Um, the best uh, thing that I can look at is I look for, is there something I can set u equal to? So let me just get my u. Uh, that when I take its derivative, the derivative is present in whole or in part in the rest of the integrand or the, the function that we're taking the integral of. And <clears throat> another rule of thumb is to always look for the composition and or what's in the exponent's place, the function in the exponent's place is, a, is the composition in this case, and uh, that's the tangent of theta. And I notice if I take the derivative of the tangent of theta, I have the secant squared of theta. So that's what I want to let u equal to. And it's yet again, that's another reason to know all your uh, derivatives uh, backwards and forwards, especially your trig functions. Um, so we have uh, let u equal the tangent of theta. Ooh, theta. So du equals the secant squared of theta d theta. I have uh, secant squared theta d theta directly in my a definite integral. And I am going to change my limits of, u, of integration from theta limits to u limits. So I'm going to just kind of write, it's just a little way to remind myself. So when I make that substitution, I have 1 plus uh, tangent of theta is u, so e to the u. We definitely integrate this. Uh, secant squared theta d theta is just du. So this is quite easy. This will be, you know, with respect to u, u plus e to the u. Um, but we need to change. You don't necessarily need to, but I like to. I think it's a good a good skill to have. So, um, if <clears throat> excuse me, if uh, let's see, our lower theta limit was zero, so if theta equals zero, then that implies that u equals the tangent of zero, which impl implies that u equals the tangent of zero is zero. So that actually didn't change, but it did. It just it's the same thing actually. So now we have uh, theta equals pi over 4 implies that u equals the uh, tangent of pi over 4 which implies that u equals tangent of pi over 4 is 1. Um, so actually this is even going to be even e an easier integral to even do once we change the uh, u limits in the evaluation parting way. So uh, we're going to uh, integrate this uh, term by term. So the integral of uh, 1 is u plus the integral of e to the u is just e to the u. And then this is a definite integral so we're evaluating for our u limits between 0 and 1. And uh, so we evaluated at the top limit so we have 1 plus e uh, to the 1 or e minus 0 plus e to the 0 so we end up having 1 plus e minus uh, you know what e to the 0 is? You should, it's 1 anything to the 0 is 1 um, that's not exactly true as long as it makes the restrictions on the base of the exponential expression but anyway um, so 1 minus 1 just leaves e and that's our answer Sorry for that digression, uh, it's early.